friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books, specifically book subscription boxes, but I am trying to venture into other content for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly book of the month unboxing and I'm so excited because I'm doing it on time this time. There's no surplus of months of books just hanging around. I'm doing August in August. It's actually August the 13th. So I'm excited. So you guys know Book of the Month is an inexpensive book subscription box that gives you one hardcover edition uh, along with the generic bookmark. I don't know what the price is anymore. It started off being $14.99 and now I think it went up to maybe $16. But still that's pretty affordable for a hardcover newly released book. I have two accounts um, and I usually take advantage of add-ons. So let's see what I got for the month of August. Oh, so this is new. So I did select this book. Um, and I think it should be in here. Yeah, so this is the first time that this has happened. I got a translation guide for a book. So this is cool. Um, but the book I selected was The Devil Takes You and it came with this translation guide. Okay, so I think that they... And maybe it's Spanish? I think it's mm, Spanish? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Spanish and it's just like a chart of like the sayings in the book and then they tell you the English versions of it. That was really nice of them. Wow. Okay. So this is the book. The book is The Devil Takes You Home by Gabino um, Iglesias. So I think this is a horror novel. I was super excited when I read it. At first, I will say I was contemplating actually skipping my first month ever. And then I read the summaries of the book and I ended up finding some that I would like. So I'm gonna read the summaries for you guys. If you're not interested in seeing the summaries, then feel free to skip ahead. Um, okay. Buried in debt due to his young daughter's illness, his marriage at the brink, Mario reluctantly takes a job as a hitman, surprising himself with his proclivity for violence. After tragedy destroys the life he knew, Mario agrees to one final job, hijacking a drug cartel's cash shipment before it reaches Mexico. Along with an old friend and a cartel insider, Mario sets off on a near suicidal mission, which will leave him with either a cool 200,000 or a bullet in the skull. But the path to reward or ruin is never as straight as it seems. As the three complicated men travel through the endless Texas landscape, across the border and back, their hidden motivations are laid bare alongside nightmarish encounters that defy explanation. One thing is certain, even if Mario makes it out alive, he'll return a different man. Wow. Okay, so this is so cool. So... So it says if you like Stephen Graham Jones and Sylvia Marino Garcia, Sylvia Marino Garcia, you might like this book. I'm excited. I tend to like the thrillers and the horror books, so I'm excited and I'm super excited that they included this. Like, I like this. Okay, so next up we have The Many Daughters of a Fung Moy by Jamie Ford. Dorothy Marr breaks her own heart for a living. As Washington former poet laureate, that's how she describes channeling her disassociative episodes and mental health struggles into her art. But when her five-year-old daughter exhibits similar behavior and begins remembering things from the lives of their ancestors, Dorothy believes the past has truly come to haunt her. Fearing that her child is predestined to endure the same debilitating depression that has marked her own life, Dorothy seeks radical help. Through an experimental treatment designed to mitigate inherited trauma, Dorothy intimately connects with past generations of women in her family. Fei Moy, a nurse in China serving with the Flying Tigers. Zo Moy, a student in England at a famous school with no rules. Lei King Moy, a girl quarantined in San Francisco during a plague epidemic. Greta Moy, a tech executive with a unique dating app, and a Fong Moy, the first Chinese woman to set foot in America. As painful recollections affect her present life, Dorothy discovers that trauma isn't the only thing she inherited. A stranger is searching for her in each time period. A stranger who's loved her through all of her genetic memories, Dorothy endeavors to break the cycle of pain and abandonment to finally find peace for her daughter and to gain the love that has been long been waiting, knowing she may pay the ultimate pay price. Hmm. Yeah, it sounded good when I read it. <laughs> 
Okay, and then the final book we have is When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Julian Madoff. You can have everything and still not have enough. Casey Quinn may be only 23, but she knows a few things. One, money can't buy happiness, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Two, family comes first. Three, her younger brother Billy is not a rapist. When Billy, a junior at Princeton, is arrested for assaulting his own-again, off-again girlfriend, Cassie races home to Manhattan to join forces with her parents and older brother. While certain of his innocence, the Quins know that Billy fits the all-too-familiar sex offender profile, white, athletic, and privileged, that makes headlines and sways jurors. So as the clock ticks and the law closes in, the family scrambles to hire the best defense money can buy. Meanwhile, Cassie struggles to understand why Billy's ex would go this far. Even if the breakup was painful, she knows better than anyone how the end of first love can destroy someone. Her own year's love affair with a powerful, charismatic man left her shattered, and she's only recently regained her footing. As reporters converge outside their Upper East Side landmark building, the Quins gird themselves for a media-saturated trial. Cassie vows she'll do whatever it takes to exonerate her brother, but what if that means exposing her own darkest secrets? Dazzling and psychologically astute, as it rockets towards an explosive endings, When We Were Bright and Beautiful asks, who will pay the price when the truth is revealed? This sounded really, really good when I read it. But at first I was kind of like, ugh, I don't know if I want to like read about the other side of like this guy being innocent but he fits the profile of guys that actually do this in real life and they're super privileged and get away with it i'm like i don't i don't i don't want to feel sympathy for you like i'm not gonna feel sympathy for you sir like this happens all the time in real life and there's guys like you that actually get away with that type of stuff but i don't know like i'm gonna give it a try and see if i like it um okay so we got a a bookmark and it says read like your tbr is watching cute we do have one more box this feels like i may have may have gotten two books in this one so oh yes this is the one that i'm most excited about daisy darker by alice feeney alice feeney has quickly become one of my favorite thriller writers and i had to get this like if i didn't get it from book of the month i was going to pre-order it anyways because her books are top tier when it comes to thrillers. After years of avoiding one another, Daisy Darker's entire family is assembling for Nana's 80th birthday party in Nana's crumbling gothic home on a tiny tidal island. They're finally back together one last time and when the tide comes in, they will be cut off from the rest of the world for eight hours. The family arrives, each of them harboring secrets. Then at the stroke of midnight, as a storm rages, Nana is found dead. An hour later, the next family members follows. Trapped on an island where someone is killing them off one by one, the Darkers must reckon with their present mystery as well as their past secrets before the tide goes out and all is revealed. With a wicked wink to Agatha Christie's and then there were none, Daisy Darker's unforgettable twists will leave readers willing. I'm super excited to read this. Like, yes. And then we got another thriller. This one is by Karen Slaughter. This is Girl Forgotten. A Girl with a Secret. Long Bill Beach, 1982. Emily Vaughn gets ready for the prom. For an athlete who is smart, pretty, and well-liked, this night should be the highlight of her high school career. But Emily has a secret. And by the end of the evening, that secret will be silenced forever. An unsolved murder. 40 years later, Emily's murder remains a mystery. Her tight-knit group of friends closed ranks, her respected wealthy family retreated inward, the small town moved on from her grisly attack. But all that's about to change. One final chance to uncover a killer. U.S. Marshal Andrea Oliver arrives in Long Beale Beach on her first assignment to protect a judge receiving death threats. But in reality, Andrea is there to find justice for Emily. The killer is still out there, and Andrea must discover the truth before she gets silenced too. Wow. This is going to be really good. I'm super excited about it. I love me a good thriller. I can't wait to read it. Yes. So that was everything that came in my book of the month subscription. If you guys like videos like this, I do this every single month. So definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this video, consider hitting the like button. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>